What happened to the US Marine Corps Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector UHAC The Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector UHAC was a revolutionary half-scale amphibious tractor test prototype that used foam flotation pad blocks on its tracks to tread over water and land. In 2014, it was a revolutionary new way of moving Marine Corps vehicles from ship to shore, as a cargo deck was between the two gigantic tracks. But what happened to the UHAC, and why hasn't it been tested since 2014 or entered active U.S. Marine Corps service? He U.S. Defense Advanced Projects Agency DARPA created the Captive Air Amphibious Transporter CAAT as a test prototype vehicle with treads and foam flotation pads. The U.S. Marine Corps Warfighting Laboratory used CAAT to create the half-scale UHAC demonstrator, which was, according to Wikipedia, 42 feet 13 m long, 26 feet 8 m wide, 17 feet 5 m high, weighed 38 tons, and traveled at 4 to 5 knots 7.4 to 9.3 kilometers h knots on water, the hull was made of aluminum, with a small pilot house mounted on the bow. Using track feet fitted with dense air impregnated foam blocks makes it buoyant in the water and propels it on land, allowing it to traverse through mud, sand, and marshland when ashore. This made the demonstrator s ground pressure about 1 psi, compared to 9.7 psi for the amphibious assault vehicle. The full-size UHAC is planned to be 84 feet 26 m long and up to 34 feet 10 m high. The UHAC is primarily aimed at potentially replacing the landing craft air cushion hovercraft, but it could also supplement it and replace the landing craft utility. Compared to the LCAC, the UHAC is planned to have a heavier payload of 150 tons standard to 190 tons overload compared to 65 tons, a longer range of 200 nmi 230 miles, 370 kilometers compared to 86 nmi 99 miles, 159 kilometers, has the advantage of using its tracks to move inland from the beach and over 10 feet 3.0 mc walls, and is estimated to cost less than half as much to build and maintain per unit, the LCAC has a faster water speed of over 30 knots compared to 20 knots for the UHAC, and a smaller area of 1,800 square feet 170 square meters compared to 2,500 square feet 230 square meters. The UHAC would be faster on water than the AAV and could even transport them to get closer to shore or carry up to 3 M1 Abrams tanks. A production version would be survivable with a lower profile, armor, and armament. The concept for the UHAC began in 2008 with the goal to design an amphibious vehicle with low sight. The Office of Naval Research accepted the design from Navitec, and three prototypes have been constructed since a one-fifth scale model, a one-quarter scale model, and a half-scale model. Currently, the UHAC effort is a collaborative effort between the USONR and the Singapore Ministry of Defense Science and Technology Department. No decision has been made on taking the final steps necessary to produce the full-scale version. Remember that Wikipedia's UHAC information dates back to the rim of the Pacific RIMPAC exercise 2014. Thus, Naval News contacted the US Marine Corps Public Affairs and Navitec the original manufacturer of the UHAC, for answers and information updates. Naval News learned that Navitec ceased business operations around 2020 and became another company under another name. The Marine Corps Communications Strategy and Operations, Combat Development and Integration, Quantico, Virginia, replied to Naval News.